morning, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much-anticipated main event. 15 rounds among heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Biggs making his way to the ring with a determined giddy-up in his step. The man's ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize and nothing will distract him. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Biggs' defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. He scored well after being hit himself, targeting the left hand to the body. Nice! Nice! Scored well up top. Hitting well now to that left hand over the top. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Not able to land the head shot. Nice. Strike after catching one by Big. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. The man's able to land a good, solid left hand. Right to the belt line. And just grabbing on to his opponent. That's a momentum changer upstairs. Last 10 seconds of this first round. The man's ability to get to his opponent worked out well there. He damaged him in that round. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot going.
Box, box, that enough is good. We got it. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're gonna find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them, and he's responding just that way. What a crushing blow up top he just landed. That's why you don't pull straight back. And he just holds on there. Biggs left now getting into the mix. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the man. Showing you some defense there with the block. That is a sharp uppercut by the man. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Good flush shot by Big. Halfway through round number two. Crashes home with a hook. The man's done a good job there offensively. A rocking shot by Big. Hey, stay with me here. Big shot, and a big punch puts him down. for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. That's okay, if you're a trainer, man. that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. A stinging uppercut by the man. Good way to protect the midsection. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Big defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. The man's gathering himself now after scoring a knockdown in that last round. If you were his trainer, what would you be pumping into his head? Well, I would say, you know what? He hasn't recovered. He hasn't had enough time to completely recover. Listen, be responsible defensively. Don't get reckless, but stay on him. Do not let him recover. Keep your hands up. You're throwing punches, but your hands are down. Are you good? Focus now. Focus. As he starts this fresh round, coming off a round in which he was knocked down, we often look at his legs. But and a big right hand by the man. Now lay it on! He tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Uppercut! The man's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. That's a stinging right hand by Big. Just knifing up with that uppercut by Big. 
Keep moving. The man's able Keep to moving. land a nice clean left hand. Move your head. Nice work with the uppercut. Boy, that'll put a smile on a trainer's face, landing a lush, strong hook by Big. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the Will of the Wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Biggs left, working well that time. Able to cover up that gut. Well targeted right hand by Biggs. to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. The man's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Did you see that? What a powerful hook to the head by Big. Scores up top of the left. He got a lot into that uppercut. Nice work by Big. His opponent has to be getting frustrated here. He had his man down, but now he keeps getting tied up. Look, I'm frustrated watching it. I don't care about his opponent. I don't have any pity for him right now because he's allowing himself to get frustrated and allowing himself to get tired. All he has to do is rotate those shoulders back a little bit, push off a little bit, create room. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And round three comes to an end. You got me? He's outworking you. You're stronger than you. Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count it. Don't look for just big punches, okay? Use your speed. Double up your punches. I want to see combos. This is a fairly competitive, tight fight. The difference being, of course, we did have a knockdown scored as you look at Teddy's scorecard. And that's what professional boxing is about, putting the fannies in the seats. The harder puncher, the guy who's more effective, the guy who puts more hurt on you, gets the rounds. Back to the body. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. The man's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Big uppercut that just crashed home. The man's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Looking right hand by Big. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Big's punches are way off the mark. He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the target. No, and it's not like his opponent suddenly became the invisible man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. 
It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting to the plate. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. What a great round this has turned into. There it is! Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked out earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. One, two, three, four, five. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. What a revealing round we just saw. Each man was able to hurt the other. You really can tell how much is on the line here between these two. Yeah, they both came here. I mean, they're in the best shapes of their career. They came here understanding what this fight means. It's okay. Okay. I need you to move this round, all right? Move. Muevate. He's going to come in swinging. He thinks you're still hurt, and he's going to look to finish you off. The man's heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's a good thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't hope his legs are under him. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them and they're not, he's going to fall all over the place, and the referee's going to stop, and his opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's got to do is test him out a little bit. So now you know how to go about surviving the round. Do you just stay on the ropes and move your head, or do you use your bicycle? Oh, he just ate a big uppercut. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Oh! oh. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of Great Maddox, his sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Look at this! The man's night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. I never saw that coming, an early knockout victory. That's a stunner, Teddy. So as I look at it, maybe not as surprising as everybody else is because he came out very dry, no sweat on him at all, and he got caught cold. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.